Hey everyone, Steve from SNI Blue Collar Gun Reviews. Got a, out here in the shop, got to do a couple things. First off, we got to clean this because we were out shooting our 762 by 39. So uh, we're going to clean that upper up out of this. And then we've also been doing some stuff for Bear Creek. Got a one video out already that, and we're going to go ahead and we mounted the pick tinny rails on that first video. And now we're going to put some stuff on it. And then on the next video, we're probably going to take this thing out and we will uh, bang it around a little bit, see how it performs. Like I said, they're worried about the chamfer on that key mod. We're going to see if it works, man. And if it works, who cares? You know what I mean? So uh, stand by, watch us do this uh, install on a Browning Black Label Tactical dagger for on it we're gonna put we're gonna load it up we're gonna go ahead and put a bipod on the front of this 223 upper and we're also going to put a flashlight mount for for just a regular little one inch flashlight by command arms so we're gonna do that okay you guys can see right there that's a black label tactical blade by browning that comes with a pick tinny that comes with a pick tinny mount and I have that, I don't have it tightened up yet, but I do have it mounted on the Pictini. I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up for you guys. And then we're going to go on to putting together a, uh, a uh, bipod that we have for this thing. So let me finish tightening up those two screws right there. Okay, right in there, there's some Phillips screws. I'm going to go ahead and tighten them down. And this is that BCA 15 inch key mod on a 223 wild barrel and a 556 receiver and bolt carrier group. Uh, you guys know the. See, okay, and that's there. That's, that's how it comes out. And goes right back in. And that is by Browning. That whole dagger, tactical dagger setup is by Browning. Now let's go ahead and get to the, uh, find the, uh, I got a whole boatload of stuff to put on. Okay, and this is a Cliff 6 to 9 inch tactical spring return bipod. Well, I already dropped the screws, so I picked those up out from underneath the bench. Pretty simple, but... For what we needed, this is what we're going to use. Put out by Cliff, bought on Amazon. And we're just mainly checking this for the, make sure the pig tinny rail uh, doesn't tear up. Okay, here's that Clive bipod that we're putting on there. All we got to do is finish tightening this up. It goes from 6 inches, which is what that is, to nine inches so this will be on there and then all we really have left to do guys is to uh, go ahead and put on the CA command flashlight setup on the other side so stand by okay guys we got everything mounted on this Bear Creek Arsenal AR-15-223 upper we have a Browning black label Tactical dagger on that pig tinny and it mounted there good. Okay, then we have a cliff bipod that goes from six to nine inches. Okay, so that's there. It's a quick fold like that. Then we have the flashlight. It's just a command arms just slips on there real quick. So there's the tactical flashlight. We're doing this mainly to see how this key mod handles mounting. Because Bear Creek Arsenal, like I said, didn't have chamfers on their key mod. They sent us these. So we're mounting this up. Now we're going to take it out now that we've got everything mounted. Everything's mounted nice and firm. And it mounted okay. 
I didn't see any issues of sucking screws down or pulling the Pictini up off the rail or anything. So we're going to put this on our upper or our lower right now. Okay, there it is on a Bear Creek Arsenal AR-15 lower that we run a 7.62x39 on, and you guys know that, so. You know, let me move out of the way so you can see all of it. There it is sitting on that, and we're going to go ahead and start beating it up. It's not like that thing's falling over or the pig tinny's running out of it, but like I said, we're... We are going to take this thing out to the range, going to throw it down a little bit. We're going to take it out. We're going to see how it performs under firing, under, you know, a little different kind of stuff, like out in the range. So uh, th that'll be that next video. So we hope you guys enjoy this, watching and seeing what Bear Creek Arsenal has to offer. You know, we... Uh, Look forward to taking this out there and checking it out. We want you guys to keep coming back.